Good morning guys, it is Wednesday, May 7th, and it's freezing in my house right now. Um, I could think of nothing to talk about today, and so I messaged one of a few of my friends, and one of them, my VPF, came up with the idea to uh, do my top 10 favorite books that are not Harry Potter. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, I can do that. So, um, most of my books are packed up right now. You guys saw my bookshelf in my uh, bunny hopping video. So I have six of them here and I will have to just verbally tell you four of them without showing. So um, these are not in any particular order. They're just where I found them on the shelf pretty much. So uh, the first one is Stardust. I don't actually own this one. I stole it from my VPF, well borrowed because I gave it back. Um, and it was amazing and it's really, really good. And the movie is also very good. I, like usual, the book is better. Um, I just, and I, I'd never read anything by Neil Gaiman before, so that was pretty amazing. Um, the Hobbit would be my next one. It is, I never, I've never been able to kind of push myself through Lord of the Rings. I always get stuck at the Council of Elrond in uh, Fellowship, so, but The Hobbit was really, really good. I don't know how they're justifying making it into three movies, but I'm gonna watch them anyway. I've seen the first two, they're pretty good. Uh, Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. I, it was the first Sarah Dessen book I read, and given when I read it, it was a really, really helpful book. Um, if you've read it, you'll know what I mean, and if you haven't, uh, she's in a not so healthy relationship, we'll leave it at that. Um, and then the fourth one that I don't currently have out is Tiffios, and I just finished rereading it, I read it out loud to my husband. Um, we used to do this thing when we were living with um, his parents when we were waiting for our, to move into our condo here. Um, where I would read him a chapter of a book every night and it was a good way just for us to talk and for him to get through books and me to re enjoy rereading them. We got through the inheritance cycle that way, we got through, um, what other ones did we do? We did the inheritance cycle, we did um, all of the uh, Hunger Games books as well. I read through, I read out loud to him. And it's nice when you have to drive somewhere, especially because he has some family that's an hour away. I have some family that's an hour away. So it's a good way to kill the ride there and back. Um, so those are the four that I don't have on me, but yeah, Tiffio's definitely up there. It's probably my second favorite John Green book. I really liked An Abundance of Catherine's. Okay, next one, Aragon. Um, not just the first one, the whole inheritance cycle, Aragon, Eldest, Brisinger, and Inheritance. Um, but this is a pretty freaking good book. Um, probably, yeah, it would be my favorite out of the series. I always tend to prefer the first books in series, serieses, seri, you know what I mean. Um, but this one especially, as you can see, it's very uh, worn and there are fold lines and it, it automatically breaks here because I've read it so much and yeah, I love this book. So that's that one. Okay, plate, do not fall. No, this is not gonna work. Okay, you're gonna go here. Mm -hmm. My desk is kind of a mess right now. Um, the next one is The Hunger Games. Uh, very, very good series, but I do prefer the first one infinitely. Um, this one also has been read a lot, and it's all mangled, and yeah. The mark of a good book is how crappy it looks, in my opinion. Uh, the next one uh, is not a fiction. It's a nonfiction. It's called The China Study, and this is one that I read probably once a year, um, and it's yeah, I put on my crunchy, preachy, hipster, granola vegan hat, and it is a book about animal testing and um, how diet can affect health, and um, it's written by a, a doctor named T. Colin Campbell and his son, and it talks about how... Um, one of the big ones that they do is they did a they did a study with a bunch of lab rats and they ha all these rats had cancer and they were essentially able to speed up and slow down tumor growth based on how much animal protein they were consuming and it talks about how if it's true in rats shouldn't that be true for humans and they talk about human studies that they did and the reason it's and that's that's what the china study was is it was showing how ingesting animal fats and animal proteins can actually speed up um, tumor growths and things like that. So um, definitely a book that, I, I read this book after I already went vegan, um, but I mentioned it to my aunt and that kind of had her going more towards 
a plant-based diet. Um, it's not for everybody, I will fully acknowledge this, going vegan is definitely not for everybody. Um, but this is an interesting book if you want to really think about um, what you're eating and what it's doing to your body. This is a good book to read. And now I will step off my soapbox. Chronicles of Narnia. Um, this is all seven. And I have read the entire series once. I read it on a nine... I read the series um, to and from Kamloops, from where I live, which is about nine and a half hours, uh, where my grandma lived when she was still alive. And as usual, the first one is my favorite. I love The Magician's Nephew. I'm um, sorry, first one, story-wise, not in printing order. Uh, the first one, story-wise, is Magician's Nephew, and I absolutely love it. Um, and yeah, this is a great, solid book. It's really heavy, but it's a really nice book to just kind of you need to escape for a few hours. It's a great book to take um, on a plane. Um, yeah, it's it's heavy, but it's a good read. Um, you'll notice also, I, I, I don't know if you'll notice, but I can't stand e-readers. The only thing I read um, on my tablet is fan fiction. I like having physical paper books, and I will usually take three or four with me on a trip. So I definitely love my books. It is one thing I'm never ever going to give up. Um, Princess Bride. I read this, I've only read this once, um, but it was incredible. It's really funny. So essentially you will see, now where is it on here? Um, it mentions that this is the abridged version and it's just, it's hysterical. It's a story within a story and it's about how this dad is re rewrites this book the way his father told it to him because his father took the original, which was really dull, and changed it and so this is the changed version and it's very again the movie was very close book is usually better um i would say that's definitely true in this case the ending was kind of weird i wasn't crazy about the ending but you know the book in itself in and of itself was pretty hysterical and then lastly pride and prejudice um i was a f i read this book first in high school and i hated it and then i realized about six months after I finished that project for school that the same author wrote my f wrote the book that one of my favorite movies is based on Sense and Sensibility and I went cannot reconcile so I read it again and I actually took my time reading it. I didn't just race through because I was finishing a project I took my time reading it and I sat next to a computer and next to a dictionary so I could look up words that I had no freaking idea what they meant and I fell in love with it I fell in love with the language and it has enabled me to read almost every Jane Austen book that I can get my hands on, and it's fantastic. And when Lizzie Bennet Diaries came out, I lost my head and I was so, so excited. So yeah, Pride and Prejudice is definitely up there. And that is it for today's video. Um, let me know in the comments below what your favorite books are. Um, and of, of course, I should supersede this by saying these are all under the shadow that is Harry Potter, because Harry Potter is amazing. Um, but these are my books. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will probably do some more Skyrim streaming tonight. I'm going to try and do it on Twitch tonight and see if we get more comments, if we get more views. I might have some friends sitting on the comments to keep the conversation going. We'll see. Anywho, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.